Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is February the 24th, and we're going to be looking in Psalm 24 together today. Psalm 24 is the third of the shepherd psalms. Psalm chapter 22 that we looked at on Saturday, Psalm 23, obviously, that we looked at yesterday, and 24 today. David wrote this psalm when they were bringing the Ark of the Covenant back into Jerusalem. So this is a time of praise, a time of excitement, celebration, rejoicing. And I love the way that David words this psalm. He says in verse 1, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. Man, I'm telling you what, when I read that verse, there's a lot of assurance that comes into me knowing that everything belongs to God. I belong to him. Everything does. So when I'm going through difficulties, problems, troubles in life, financial difficulties, I know my father owns everything. The problems that I face, the difficulties that are in front of me are not that big of a deal because of my father who has unlimited resources to take care of me. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. I belong to my father. That is so encouraging to me that I know he cares about me. He's interested in me. Every detail of my life is important to him. Then when you get down to the end of this chapter, the last sections, verse 7, 8, 9, and 10, there's one phrase that's repeated over and over. The king of glory. The king of glory. The king of glory in 9 and then it's twice in 10. He is truly the king of glory glory. And it also says in verse 10, who is the king of glory? The Lord of heaven's armies. He is the king of glory. There's no question who's the true king. No matter who's in the, the office, the Oval Office in Washington, it doesn't matter who's in the House of Representatives or the Senate, because I know who's sitting on the throne. And he is more powerful than any politician could ever be. It doesn't matter which side of the aisle you're on. If you're a part of the left side or the right side, and there's the old saying, the old Indian saying that says, what if I told you that the left wing and the right wing were both a part of the same bird? Well, that's true, but I know who's in control of that bird, and that's the king of glory. So no matter who wins an election, although I am involved, I vote, and I have my personal opinions, but it doesn't matter who's in the White House. God will always be on his throne. He is the one who is in control. He's the one who lifts up. He's the one who puts down. So no matter what you're thinking about our country today, whether you feel like we're in trouble and we're about to go off the rails, or if you feel like things are great, we have one person who's in control of it all, and that is our Father. So that helps me when my political candidate doesn't win, doesn't matter, because God is on his throne. The ultimate authority never changes. He never loses an election. He can't be impeached. He can't be tossed out, and there are no term limits. He is always on the throne. I hope that encourages you today. Get in Psalm 24 and read it for yourself, and get in God's Word every day. Spend some time studying. Let it get into your life and take over and take a hold inside of your life to help you in your Christian life on the next steps. Until tomorrow, God bless you, and have a great day.